happy Sunday. I hope you have had an awesome week. Today, I'm gonna to talk you through the key pieces from my summer capsule wardrobe. So I did a summer capsule haul like quite recently, a couple of weeks ago. I'll make sure that is linked up here somewhere and down in the description box below for you if you wanna check it out. But I haven't really shown you my summer capsule wardrobe as a whole. Let me know if that is something you would like to see and I can sort that out for you. But in the meantime, I thought I would show you the 10 key pieces that I've really been getting a lot of use out of over the past couple of weeks. And some of them are new and some of them aren't. And I think that's really important to show you things that are from like years ago now, but I'm still really enjoying them. They were definitely good investment pieces because all these years later, I'm still getting use out of them. So I think it's good to show how your style can like evolve and grow and change, but there's always gonna be these key basics that you always come back to. And it's good to just like reuse clothing. You don't have to buy new stuff every season. Although it's nice to jazz it up with a few little new pieces, it's good to go back to your old classics too. So on to piece number one. So with all that chat about old pieces, I thought I would show you this because this is probably one of the oldest things in my wardrobe and I'm actually so gutted that they don't sell it anymore because it is the most perfect leather jacket that I have ever found. It's from and other stories. I'll try and find a similar one for you and link it down below. But the reason why I love it so much is because the detail on it is just so simple. There's really not a lot of detail going on. There's not too many like bells and whistles on it. And the detailing is in this really nice kind of goldy brass color, which is so hard to find. I literally looked for this leather jacket for about two years, I reckon. Before that, I think I had like a Primark number, but I wore so much that it actually got holes like in the lining. So when I saw this, I freaked out. It was exactly what I wanted. And at the time was one of the most expensive things I have ever bought. But I'm so pleased that I did because it just has lasted so well. Like it's worn in really nicely. To this day, it's like my favorite leather jacket that I've ever seen in the shop so I'm very happy that I went home with it. Uh, throughout this video I'm going to try and link up some like Instagrams of me wearing everything to the side so you can kind of see how I style it and how I wear it. And I know a leather jacket might not be the most summery thing, but definitely in the UK, we have this like temperamental weather where sometimes it's really boiling and sometimes it's really not. So this is really great for just evenings out or kind of days where you need like a camisole, but maybe with like an extra layer over the top. I just absolutely love it. Definitely one of the best purchases that I have ever made. Let's talk about tops first. Let's get those out of the way. And this one I've really been enjoying, but it's more like a genre in general. I think that it's good to have in your summer capsule wardrobe. And this is from a equipment this is one of their cotton poplin shirts but I really like this one because it's cotton and I feel like in the summer you just want to go for like the cottons the silks the really nice natural occurring fabrics that just are very breathable you don't sweat too much in them and I love cotton I also really like linen but I just find linen is just so creasy and really annoying I like cotton because you can iron it and actually it kind of stays that way. It can be kind of crisp, it can be a little bit crinkled if you want, you can wear it both ways, but it's just very light and easy to wear. And cotton shirts are great because you could also wear them on the beach as like a beach cover up, kind of undone, just to give a bit of extra coverage or if you're feeling a bit chilly, but they also work really well with denim shorts. I've got some denim shorts in here, cigarette trousers, paper bag, waist trousers, jeans, they sort of go with everything. And it's just nice because you can roll them up if it's like not a particularly warm day and you still want a bit of warmth kind of on the arms you can do a little tie at the front if you kind of want to wear them a bit cropped I just think they're very versatile pieces and I got this back as part of I think like my winter wardrobe and it's kind of nice that it's just something you can wear like all year round now this is a camisole I think that I've had for about two years now it's from whistles and I can't remember what it's called I'll try and find something similar below for you it's got like a racer back detail but the reason why I love this so much is just because it pairs with everything so easily Easily. You guys know I love a bit of black. I love black. I always do all year round. I don't care And I think this looks really nice and very simple with just some like black jeans or like black um, kind of denim hot panty things but I've also been wearing this a lot with a skirt that I'm going to show you probably next. I really like that I just think that if you're a jeans and t-shirt kind of gal like camisoles in the summer are sort of the The summer version of like your t-shirts. There's not as much coverage going on So obviously these are something that you'd wear on like a really kind of hot day and I've got a few in different colors I've got like the and other stories like stripey one that is currently over there being dried because I wear it so often and um, I just think they look very cool and kind of casual but I like that they can be dressed up for the evenings too so investing in a couple of these I know ASOS do some like simple kind of essential ones where you get like a black and a white one in a pack and I just think you can't go wrong with them because they're just very easy to wear now I am not a big fan of skirts in fact I kind of hate skirts I'm just not really a fan I'd rather do shorts than a skirt however this one 
I have worn a lot. I wore this a lot in New York as well because it was just so hot out there that the thought of any fabric touching my body at all like made me feel sick. So this is really good. This is from And Other Stories. I picked this up as part of my summer capsule wardrobe haul so this is definitely a newer purchase for me but I love how like floaty it is. I love the length of it because it's kind of a midi length so you don't really have to like shave up too high on your legs which is always a good thing. Um, it has got like this little slit up the front uh, so it kind of comes to like above knee on your left leg. It moves very nicely in the wind. It kind of looks very chic as you walk. Goes really nice with like sandals, espadrilles, kind of sliders, those sorts of shoes. Also Converse as well. I like them with Converse. But yeah, it's definitely a bit different for me. Like out of everything else I've picked it, this is definitely the thing that stands out. But it is definitely the thing that I would wear if it was one of those days where it is like super crazy hot and you can't you don't want to wear any clothes at all. Um, this works really well with the black camisole that I showed you earlier. That's like a really nice outfit with espadrilles. See, I've been getting a lot of wear out of this, surprisingly. And it's definitely one of those things that I wear and people compliment me on because they're like, oh my god, you're wearing a skirt. Oh my god, you're wearing colour. Like, are you feeling alright? Do you need to sit down? <laughs> I obviously love jeans, but there are some days where jeans are like a little bit too heavy. And you know you start to worry, especially if I'm wearing jeans like the colour that I'm wearing now. I'm like, oh my god, have I got some kind of like sweaty crotch patch going on? And I think one day I actually did. So <laughs> I've definitely been taking it down like a level of thickness when it comes to trousers during the summer. And these are great. These are from Selected Fen. Like you're not going to be able to really see them from me holding up here. So hopefully there'll be a picture here. But they're from Selected Fen. They're like the paper bag waist trousers. I don't think they sell them anymore on ASOS, but they're similar ones that I can uh, find for you below. I love these. Again, I think I got these as part of like my winter wardrobe or my spring wardrobe but they're easily something that I can wear year round and actually they work really really well in the summer. It's nice because the waistband on them is like elasticated so it isn't too like hot and stuffy in the fabric, it's just nice and thin and I don't feel like I'm getting a sweaty crotch patch in them and they just again go with everything, look really cool with like sliders or converse or basically any kind of shoe and are again one of those things that can be really like dressed up and dress down and I like the paper bag waist because it looks really cool with stuff like stuffed in the top because it kind of has this like little area of detail going on which I just think adds something to outfits, adds a little bit of detail, really chuffed that I picked these up out of that kind of non-trouser haul that I did like all those months ago. These are the ones out of those three that I picked up that I've definitely worn the most. Let's talk about denim hot pants because I actually posted these on my Instagram and someone was like oh Anna, that does not look like a lot of coverage. And actually, I'm not someone who like is crazy about getting their legs out, but I love how they look. And I think because I'm a big fan of denim jeans, like obviously this is like the summer way to wear denim. And I have found a design that I really like that has enough coverage on the butt for me, but isn't like a length that would look good on my dad. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes they're just a little bit too long and I don't feel like that's too flattering unless you've got the longest legs in the world and can afford to like cover up that extra couple of inches. Um, I have, I'm 5'7", so I am quite leggy, and so things do tend to come up quite short on me, but I still think it's nice to have kind of a, a short short without your butt cheeks hanging out the bottom. And I find that these, these are the Levi's 501s, I think. 501s. I picked these up in spring, bizarrely. Why did I pick them up in spring? Oh yeah, because I knew that I was going to Coachella and I was like, I need some more denim hot pants because before that I just had a pair of H&M ones that I bought back when I was at uni, but they fit so good. I still wear them now. Absolutely love them. Obviously they're a bit more stretched out now than uh, in my uni days, but I needed to find a design kind of like that that came in multiple colours so I could sort of expand my denim wardrobe. And these are just great. I've got them also in white. I've just checked the label and they're actually a waist 30 and I would normally do like a waist 27 so they're definitely a few sizes bigger than what I normally go for but I like that because it means that they sit lower on my hips therefore are a bit longer and also I never want to feel like cut in two by trousers I'd rather have them a little bit bigger and baggier because I just think that's a cooler look than having them like really tight and for me like it looks like there's too much sausage like in the sausage meat skin like I, I don't ever want to look like that so I like that they're a little bit bigger a little bit baggier but absolutely a great summer purchase. If like me, you like hot pants, but you don't want your butt to hang out the bottom. Levi's 501s, good shout. Okay, on to accessories. And the first thing that I'm gonna show are these. These are Selected Femme Espadrilles. You're probably bored of me talking about these by now because I have gone on about these a load in videos. I'm always wearing them like in my vlogs whenever I do a little outfit of the day. 
I just absolutely love them. And whenever I wear them, people say, they look a bit too big for you. And they do look a bit too big for me. I think it's because the top kind of creates like a shadow on the sides of my feet and just makes it look like I'm wearing espadrilles that are about three or four sizes too big. But I assure you that they are the right size. I've got these in a size UK six. If I had them any smaller, I wouldn't be able to get them on and off my feet. I just have quite narrow feet, but they fit me really nicely. I love these because they're so comfortable. They've got this like cushiony sole on them. They go with everything. They're just such a good shoe. Like I'm really fussy when it comes to what shoes I drive in. I like to have like a bit of grip on my feet and be like very secure in my shoes. These are great driving shoes. There's just a million and one reasons why I love them. And definitely at the weekend when I'm wearing much more like casual outfits and I just can't really be bothered to like even try. These are great. These are like what I throw on with absolutely everything. Very tempted to pick up a leather pair, although I might save that purchase till next summer, I think. There's another shoe purchase that I'm quite excited about because I'm doing some work with Topshop over the next couple of months. So I had to pick up some Topshop bits. I was like, that is not a bad brief to have to uh, fulfill. This is not sponsored part of the job or anything like that in any way, but I just have got these and have really enjoyed wearing them. So I thought I'd mention them. They're just these like leopard print, sort of slider, sort of sandals. You guys know that I love leopard prints. I'm just a sucker for anything like that. And I don't like sandals where my toes and feet are very exposed. I like them like semi covered up because I just think feet, they're, they're interesting things, aren't they, feet? So I kind of like mine to have a bit of coverage going on uh, with them. And these are perfect because your toes come out the end, so it's like, oh, look, I got a manicure, but they're not crazy out. There's no straps around the back, so you don't have to worry about blisters or anything like that. I would say that these have taken a bit of wearing in. There's a little bit of kind of cutting in that comes around here, but I was wearing these a ton in New York and the weather was so hot that literally everything that I was wearing was like chafing on me because I was sweating so much. But these are great, they're real leather and I have a feeling they're about 26 pounds. So a bit of a bargain, I would say. And yeah, just got a lot of wear out of these and they've got a rubber sole so you don't slide around like it. Sunglasses wise, I actually only own two pairs of sunglasses. I'm really not massively into like changing up my sunglasses every day. I have like a really big head and a really big face. So finding sunglasses that suit me, I kind of find my style and then I'm like, yep, yeah, those are the ones. Very tempted to pick these up in black. However, for now, I just know that these would probably be the ones I would wear most days anyway because they're like tortoise shells. They're a little bit more softer on the face, which I actually really like. They're from a brand called Dick Moby. I picked these up because I had a pair of Ray-Bans that were very similar and I left them on a plane. Needed a new pair, ended up finding this very cool optician in Stockholm, found these and I was like, yes, they are the perfect ones. And I like them because they're very similar to the like Ray-Ban Wayfarer style, but they're made out of recycled materials, which is very cool. This is a very cool, fun, ethical brand. They weren't crazy pricey, but they weren't crazy cheap either. They were like somewhere in the middle. Just really like them. They're called the CPT style. They now actually sell them in Selfridges, which is good because before you had to order them directly off of their website, which I think is like a European website. So they took a little while to get over. Um, but I really, really love these. Whenever people are like, where are your sunglasses from? I'm like, they're literally the only ones I wear. I love them. Great purchase. So my final capture wardrobe staple are like a genre of bags. And I actually have two bags like this, which I feel I don't really ever like to have like two of the same thing or something, but because they're different colours, I feel like I can kind of justify it and they're basically like a crossbody little tiny bag with lots of zips lots of compartments it's just very easy to travel around with quite a lot of things but not feeling like you're carrying around the kitchen sink like I like my big bags but I only really ever wear them if I have to if I have to carry around like a laptop or for hand luggage or something like that I genuinely like to have less is more in my bag. It's just better for my back, not to have to carry everything around. I sweat less because I'm carrying less weight, which is always good. The first one is this Celine Trio bag. Now I kind of bought this on the down low, like at the beginning of the year. Um, I'd wanted one for a really, 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 really long time. And I really like the blue color. Unfortunately, they don't sell that anymore. So I thought I'd go for the black one just because it's a very solid colour, obviously goes with everything. I've had quite a few comments on this because I think a lot of people do reviews of them online. People have asked if it is something I would recommend and I would actually say no. It is very nice, it's a good size. I got the bigger one out of the two because it fits my purse in it and I hated the idea of having to like downsize my purse 
to fit it into the smaller one, whereas this one fits in my purse, sunglasses, camera, keys, phone, and it's probably my most used bag out of all of them that I own. So it's very practical, do really like it, however I feel like the leather is not that fab and it has kind of scratched away and like peeled off in certain places and I feel like for an extremely expensive bag, I don't feel like it's the best quality. However, I love the design of it and I feel like if you were into the idea of this bag, you could probably just find a high street dupe that also was real leather, that was probably better quality leather, but obviously you still got the size and the practicality of it. So if I find any, I will link them down below for you. And then this one is from Whistles. This I picked up as part of my summer capture wardrobe and I absolutely love it. It's very similar to the Celine, a little bit smaller, so I can't fit as much in it. And the Celine has three pockets, whereas this only has two. Too. but in a way that's good because I can fit even less in it so obviously even better for my shoulders um, but yeah I just really like it I like that it's red most of my outfits are very plain as you can see from all of the bits I've picked here so it's been nice to kind of add a little bit of color to my outfits and that's how I tend to wear it the most but yeah I really like this it's a very cute bag very well made, really good quality. So that is everything, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's actually quite fun to kind of think what are my 10 favorite things and really like whittle it down. And if you ever wanna see more style things, I do post on my blog four times a week. And also on my Instagram, there's always like new things going up there and I try and post sort of semi daily outfits or you know, a couple of outfits a week. So definitely check that out. But thank you so much for watching. I will link my latest video here. If you haven't seen that, it was a vlog from New York with Lily. Definitely check that out. Also I've done a blog post today of my favourite kind of summer super hot uniform and also press the subscribe button if you haven't already because it means the world so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye